Since the last crash, I'm down big. Very, very big. I'm too scared to check my crypto wallet. Why did I put all my money in altcoins? I haven't told my wife that we won't be able to meet next month's mortgage yet. If I tell her, I'm scared she'll pack up and leave me. My bud recommended I see this hypnotist. Said he'll get me right back on track and forwarded me a link to his angel fire site. I clicked and was greeted by a text in big all caps letters. Underneath the text was a pixelated image of a dapper middle-aged man with slick back hair in a double-breasted blazer lighting a fat Cuban cigar. Stop being a pathetic fucking worm. All right, I will hypnotize you to have what it takes to play in the big leagues, pal. None of this pussy ass Bitcoin, Ethereum shit. All right, cold, hard shit coins. I'll teach you how to grab the crypto market by the balls, just like in the old days. My patented technique only requires a willing participant who's ready to let me take control of their life through the ancient power of hypnosis. You will be fucking pussy and taking names in no time, bub. Stick with me. Email Benny-Benjamins at AOL.com right now to order my world famous 7 Steps to Getting Rich Hypnosis DVD. Benny-Benjamins at AOL.com 7 Steps to Getting Rich Hypnosis DVD. Naturally, I wrote Benny Benjamins an email right away asking for his nearest appointment. I drove over to his hypno lab located in a suburban office park near the airport the next day. I recall entering the building, but that's about it. I must still be under hypnosis because my next memory is finding myself inside a 7-Eleven in the year 2035. I was exhausted and late for my shift at the local crypto mine, I needed a boost. So I grabbed a canister of G Fuel. The android working at the counter said they only accepted Dogecoin. So I pulled out my iPhone 25 drew a cute little stick man in less than five seconds on the touch screen and then sold it as an NFT. I made six Dogecoin from the sale, which was about $6 million in old world money. I went to buy the drink only to find out that from the time I shut my phone to the time I talked to the robot cashier, Dogecoin had dropped in value to only six old world dollars per coin. And now I owed at least six million Dogecoin to the robot for the gamer fuel. I left 7-Eleven frustrated and drove off in my old beater of a Tesla. Benny Benjamin keeps testing me. Like I won't end it all. I'm not one of your strongest soldiers, bro.